Just a quick video on a part I'm going to run. Um, so part is just a, a small scale model uh, wheel weight. So it'll be, uh, this is actually part of an assembly, so there'll be another part that goes along with this, and this will fit into it, and that'll fit into the actual wheel. So, going to run this part on a uh, Denford Cyclone uh, CNC turning centre. Uh, just give you a quick look at the turret. Had to make a couple of changes, had to add in that 204 um, to cut the grooves, and I changed the drill over as well. Um, so this machine runs on uh, Mac 3. Um, and that's just a screenshot of the tool path. So the first operation will be a facing operation and then a turning in the OD and then a drilling operation and then a boring operation out to 13 H7. Uh, it has to be a pretty good fit uh, with the next part. And then there'll be some grooves cut in the OD and then the part will be parted off. Um, hopefully going to change this later over to Mac 4 whenever it's available and maybe a couple of months after it's released and any bugs being worked out of it. Not to say there will be any bugs, but why well, take the chance. So material I'm running is 6082T6 aluminium and uh, this machine is not equipped with a bar puller. Might be acquiring a second lathe, which is, uh, which would be nice. But at the moment, um, changing the material over is actually um, between parts is manual. I'm not going to run coolant, so you can see what's going on. So I'm just going to start the uh, program. So I've already run a part on this stock, so it's only clearing off the previous face. So changing over to the drill, it's a carboy drill. And now we're going to change over to our boring bar. And it's going to bore out to 13 H7. So it's just going to rough out the diameter and then finish bore to 13 h 7 So now we're going to change over to tool 4 which is our grooving tool. And it's going to cut some grooves in the OD. And now we're going to change over to the parting tool. And we're going to part off. Parting is a little bit tricky without coolant, so hopefully it goes well. Putting a back chamfer. I find with 6082T6 the chip management can be tricky. It tends to come off and ravels. So getting your feeds and speeds right is really important. And that's the car cut off. So, 
have a look at our part. Pretty happy with that. Need to add a chamfer into the hole at the back, but other than that, it's pretty much it. So, first two off. So, um, thanks guys. <laughs>